the relation R A B C D E F with the following F D set is decomposed into D uh, A B D B C E A E F. Then the decomposition D is E option A lossless and depend dependency preserving. Option B lossless but not dependency preserving. Option C lossless and dependency preserving. Sorry, option C is lossy and dependency preserving. Uh, option D lossy but not uh, dependency preserving. So here in this question, uh, relation R is decomposed into some tables, three tables, and uh, if the set of the table uh, relation R is given, we have to find the nature of the decompose decom uh, nature of the decomposition. Here, uh, given uh, F D set is A gives B D, B C gives F, E gives A, and B E gives F, and the decomposition is A B D, B C E, and the third one is A E F. So this is the decomposition D. Uh, let us check uh, first property if it is lossless or not lossless or not uh, first one first condition we need to check uh, if all the attributes are present the the attributes which are present in the original relation are present in the given decomposition or not we have to let we have to check if all the attributes of the original presentation original relation original table are present in the decomposition or not if that is not the case then that decomposition is not lossless that means that is lossy decomposition here the attributes are a b c d e f if you see the decomposition a b d b c e a e f here in this decomposition all the attributes are present so first condition is satisfied now second condition uh, if uh, particular decomposition is uh, particular table is decomposed into two uh, tables then r1 intersection r2 should not be equal to 5 should not be equal to 5 and the third condition would be r1 intersection r2 derives either R1 or R1 intersection derives R2 derives R2 if this condition is if these three conditions are satisfied then that uh, then we can say that that particular decomposition is lossless so here uh, uh, let us take the intersection of these two intersection of these two is uh, a B D intersection B C is B plus. If you find uh, B plus, B plus will be giving only B. So now let uh, let us uh, take the intersection of these two. If you take intersection of these two, uh, intersection of B C E and A E F would be uh, E only E. So E plus would be deriving. E A and because of A we will be getting B D and uh, and because of B E uh, we will be getting F so E plus gives uh, E A B D F that means A E F is present that means this condition is satisfied R1 intersection R2 gives R1 or R2. Here it is giving if it is if this is R1, BC is R1, and this is AEF, AEF is R2. R1 intersection R2 we are getting as R2. So this particular condition is satisfied. Now let us combine these two tables. Now the decomposition would be ABD. Uh, if we combine these two, we will be getting A. Uh, B C A B C E F. So this is a 
decomposition now let us take intersection of these two intersection of these two is ab ab closure ab closure uh, ab because of a we are getting bd and uh, because of uh, e so here we can see that intersection of r1 and r2 we are getting this r1 so this so here all the all these three are all these three conditions are satisfied so we can say that this is lossless so we can eliminate option c and d from the four options now let us check uh, for the property dependency preservance uh, for uh, checking uh, dependency preserving uh, dependency preserving there is one algorithm if you want to check uh, the dependency a derives b, b uh, alpha derives beta is preserved or not we will uh, consider uh, this rhs lhs part as result let us take this as result and uh, we should uh, run this algorithm the algorithm is while changes to result occur for i is equal to 1 to k here uh, decomposition is cons decomposition consists of r sorry k k tables so on up to k that is why this k is number of tables in the decomposition for i is equal to 1 to k result is equal to result union result intersection ri whole closure intersection ri here for, for loop ends here and here while loop ends here so if the so after running this uh, algorithm if there is any if the result containing contains this lhs part if result contains this uh, RHS part beta beta then we can say that this uh, alpha derives beta is preserved so this is a algorithm for checking dependency preserving so here uh, given decomposition is here uh, given fds are a gives bd uh, bc gives f e gives a and ba gives f and the decomposition is a b d b c e and a e f so this is a decomposition now we have to check for each dependency if it is preserved or not so let us check this uh, a derives bd is preserved or not uh, one shortcut is there if all the attributes if all the attributes are present in the same table then we can say that that particular fd set is sorry that particular functional dependency is preserved here the attributes in this fd are abd and all the attributes of this abd are present in the same table abd so we can say that a2 a derives bd is preserved we need not run algorithm for this now let us check uh, and uh, if we see uh, this uh, e derives uh, a here e and a are present in the same table so we need not check this one and uh, bc derives f we have to check for these two algorithms sorry these two functional dependencies we have to run this algorithm so now let us run 
for uh, this algorithm for bc gives bc derives f now alpha that is result this result is equal to bc lhs part lhs part while changes to result occur uh, for i is equal to 1 to k result is equal to so result this result is equal to we are running here uh, uh, here i is 1 that means uh, we have to now i is equal to 1 uh, result is equal to that is bc is equal to bc union result that is bc intersection ri first table here i is equal to 1 that means r1 here first table is abd a b d whole closure intersection ri first table a b d so if we uh, intersection of these two b c intersection a b d so b c intersection a b d is nothing but uh, b and the b closure uh, b closure is we got b closure as b itself so b intersection a b d which is again b and uh, b uh, BC union B would be BC BC so now we got result as BC for I is equal to 1 now I is equal to 2 so I is equal to 2 result is BC only BC is equal to result intersection BC intersection sorry BC union result union result intersection BC intersection RI now uh, I is equal to 2 that means second table BCE so BCE whole closure intersection R I I is equal to 2 R2 R2 is BCE so BC intersection BCE is BC BC closure is uh, B, what is BC closure BC closure use BC F and uh, only BCF so BCF is the this part is BCF BCF intersection BCF intersection BC G which is again BC so which is again BC what is BC closure BC closure is BCF only no so here BC closure is BC if are we getting any other thing we are not getting any other thing so only bcf bcf intersection bc is bc bc union bc is again bc now we have to run for the table 3 table 3 so table 3 now i is equal to 3 so for i is equal to 3 uh, result is same only bc is equal to BC uh, union this is intersection of uh, BC intersection table 3 is AEF BC intersection AEF section BC E So BC intersection AEF is uh, phi, phi closure is phi and uh, intersection of these two would be phi, BC union phi would be BC, so result would be same. We have run this for all the three tables for loop, then we have to check this while condition, while changes to result occur. The earlier result was BC only, now also result is BC, so uh, this uh, here. Uh, this while condition will be false so it is out of loop so here result doesn't contain right side of the fd right? that is right side is f so we can say that this uh, dependency is not preserved so here correct option is here uh, uh, here here it is here the given uh, decomposition is lossless but it is not preserving dependencies
all the dependencies so your correct option is option b option b is the correct option